What's going on guys and welcome back to PGR4 Platinum Playthrough and I've forgotten what episode this is. Maybe 23. We've uh, gone through quite a few episodes but I think we're up to 23 or around there and in this episode we have the flat out chapter to do which is in class A. Speed challenge, breakthrough, street race, couple hot laps and an eliminator. So start things off. Uh, speed challenge in Shanghai and um what can we use here this car we have not used yet which i do want to use and it is fairly quick not the quickest the ultimate aero is a bit of a good shout as well but it depends on where the speed cameras are on this track really because it might not be the best thing to get the power down i might give it a go it's a bit like the cadillac speed 12 in the sense that it is not going to grip Cool, there's some fairly weird colours here. That's quite nice in red, actually. Let's go with that. 431 miles an hour. Right, so I am praying these speed cameras on the straights. But they probably won't be. Ah, there's one right in front of us, I think. Oh, it's the same, same event as when we used the Cadillac Speed 12. I don't think that was particularly good. Now this car is an obvious <coughs> obvious beast, but it's whether we can drive well enough, because that was awful to start things off. Right, stick it in third actually. Might have to try it again, but it might just be quick enough to get the job done. <coughs> Right, I am going to stick it in third round here, just to... Oh, that was awful. No, not quite quick enough. Lots of crashing involved in that one. Uh, trying to get used to this beast of a car. But actually failed by quite a lot there. But I'm going to leave it in third round most of those corners, I think. This is too quick for its own good. Too quick for its own good, this car. And I um, have to see where is the best thing to right, accelerate around there. That's better, I think. Maybe I could have stuck it in fourth, actually. Absolutely crazy into braking. That felt better, I want to say, that time. Right, I can go slowly around here. Not go too mad. And then get the right exit on the power. Is that any better? That might be around the same, actually. It might not be good enough, this. Oh, no. That was all right. Much better that time. Much more smooth. Um, I made the mistake of actually racing around the track when you actually don't need to. You can slow down before the corners and kind of judge what you need to do to make sure you get the, the correct exit out of it. But um, finally, use the ultimate arrow. And uh, it did the job. Right, so what is next for us? Breakthrough. Um, New York. S uh, down the straights, isn't it? How big is that straight, though? If that's the bridge, I want to use the ultimate arrow again, you know. I'm going to do it. Because I want to release this beast on the straights. God, some of these look really weird, these colours. That one looks quite different, though. Right, this should be good down this straight bit. I'm hoping. It should absolutely fly down here. 25 checkpoints is the target. And this is probably the best car to choose for this, because once it gets into sixth gear, it pulls like a freight train. It's just whether I can brake in time. I want to brake now. Yeah, that's probably wise because it gets a bit twitchy under braking as well, this car. I have noticed that when driving this thing. 
but it looks like I'm just going up and down the straight, so... Any time that I lose through these corners, I can hopefully make back. And this is where it's at home, this car. Absolutely nuts. It's so difficult to brake though, you've got to be really careful. Not even worth going down into the second gear, I don't think. Twenty-five checkpoints. It's gonna take a long time, I think. just about just that right and went down to second probably didn't need to it just spins its wheels in second really not sure how much speed you can carry through there apparently it's not too bad but uh, not done all that I don't think yet or maybe we have that might have been alive, we might have done actually. Yeah, we'll come back down to this bit. Really don't know when to break there. I don't want to break too late because I'm quite guilty of doing that. This is really enjoyable to drive this car though. Even if it is a bit mental. And it's all of a sudden gone very foggy. That is showcasing the dynamic weather on the game. Very cool feature. Not many games have that around that time anyway. It might have been the only one, to be honest. Oh, I went a bit more cautiously that time around there, but it was actually worse than the first time. I mean, hopefully we should smash it, just because of the um, straight line speed. Because it just blows everything out of the water. Taking third round there this time. Hitting the walls a few times. Not ideal. It is quite bouncy around that section, so you have got to be careful. Getting loads of high speed kudos. So basically, get the high speed as soon as you get on the straight. I think it's like over 170 miles an hour, I want to say. Something close to that. And that's what happens when I don't brake in early enough. <laughs> For once, I was like, I might try braking slightly later, and it didn't work whatsoever. the best of taking that. Really hard to judge when you have to turn in sometimes. We've got five more checkpoints to go and it seems like we've got a lot of time. Again, all the time I crash it's just going to be made back by this. Much more cautious around there. That's probably the best way of doing that. sure not to put full power down when you've got tyres on the kerb. So that's a recipe for spinning out. It's a bit, <coughs> a bit better well timed that. Two more checkpoints to go. And I think we've got a lot of time left. Oh yeah, plenty. Plenty of time. We're going to cross this with like 20 seconds left. That is ridiculous. This car is just... Just use this on this event. That is the only thing you have to use to win. Very nice indeed. Lovely stuff. Right, so... On to uh, Street Race. The Admirality in St. Petersburg. I want to use 
this car and we're going to use it. I didn't know there was two colours. Oh, that's interesting. I think we'll use it in red though. It looks good in red. And first place. Right, we have another FXX in the race. And the F50 GT. And uh, I'm not sure what else was up there. And this thing is incredibly loud. Oopsie daisy. This handles a hell of a lot better than the uh, Ultimate Aero does, though. That's definitely the other FX, because it's trying to spin me out. We've got two laps of this to do. And trying to get used to this in comparison to the Ultimate Aero. Completely different beast. Oh, didn't need to go down there. Get the uh, T1 out of the way there. Bit of a rough overtake, but you know. Definitely not as fast as the F50GC in a straight line, but I think it handles better. It's not really the right line through there. Uh, it was good enough. Struggling to catch the F50 GT up there. And he went basically sideways across there. He is pulling away on the straight. He's got great brakes though. Still trying to get used to it. Can't actually catch this guy up. I'm drifting around every corner, that's probably why. Right behind them at least. Rapid brakes a lot there. I'm literally just hanging on to the back of him at the moment. Got another lap to go. I right, can sneak around the inside of him there. There we go. Yeah, you can go a lot quicker around some sections. I was being a bit conservative on the first lap. Sticks to the corners so nicely. That's hard to get your line through there as well. I'm not sure what the best method is. Not doing that, preferably. Luckily, I was actually fairly far ahead before I crashed. Because that was not ideal. Possibly better through there. I'm getting great corners, so that's maybe a little bit of a good sign. This bit I hate. As you can see why, I literally went through the uh, the braking markers there. I'm not really pulling away too much from this guy though. And it's probably because I'm braking far too late still. I'm not hitting the apex, that's better. That was alright through there. Long laps, actually, these are. I think this car looks absolutely awesome, though. Big fan. 
I love the two wings on either side above the exhausts. Such a crazy look. There we go. Uh, managed to do it after messing up the first lap a little bit. And then obviously crash crashing on the second, but you know, is what it is. And uh, yeah, we are getting more credits now actually, or kudos. I think that's 15,000 we're up to. Right, and now we've got a couple hot laps to do. And an eliminator, which shouldn't be too bad. So hot lap, uh, we've done this one in PGR 3, because I remember that name, Ekame. Ekame Loop or something like that. Um, hot lap. We've used a lot of these cars. We haven't used the panels. I think the panels would do it on that. There's more straights in these than I think half the time. And I think it might suck on that. So we might give that one a miss. But we haven't used the supercar concept. And we haven't used the gun part. I want to try the gun part actually quite slidey but it's actually fairly quick Got nice and blue oh it's in the, the wet and in the mist oh it starts us off and doesn't change gear for us that's very nice yeah there is a few straights in this by the looks of it oh that turned sharply in there. 43 seconds of the target. I may need a few attempts at this. Because you can't see F all. Yeah. 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 That was... Not good. That comes out of nowhere. Do you know what, actually? The panels might have been good on this. thought there were a few, a few more straights in this. Cool, this is a complicated track. Oh, only three seconds off. Psst. I'm kidding, that is quite a lot. So it goes like this, and then it goes to the right quickly. Um... Not even that much quicker than the first lap. Right then, as this comes out of nowhere. I don't think I'm going to make three seconds up. Right, probably could have left that in fourth. Oh, I'm two seconds up. Uh... Well, I mean, this is a... I actually really like this track, even though it's hard. Right, that was a bit quicker. Still not good enough, though. And that was too wide. How much are we off? We're still a whole second off, though. Uh, a little bit quicker this time. But that's too wide. And that screwed it. That's definitely, yeah, you can make much more time up through there. That was a weird way of doing that corner, but... Yeah, not this time. Not this time. That was the fastest. Second off. I can do that. I can make a second up. Come on. Come on, Mr. Gumput. I have to say, it's actually nice to drive this car. It's going to be very tight if I can make the time up. But at least I can change gear correctly there. Now, I don't know whether to be in second there. It's probably the best shout. Not as quick as some of the other cars in the class, so this may be a bit more challenging. But that's what we like. Oh, I cannot do that bit. Well, I need to remember to brake much earlier there. Right, that's how you do that. Need to brake here. Get a nice apex through there. 
lay off the accelerator up here. Get a nice wide entry. There we go. Right, that's how you do that. Let's do that without crashing this time. Oh, that was closer. Break at the two. That's still awful around there. That's the corner I need to improve the most. Oh, the car just lifted up. Try that again. The car just went over a bump then and just took off. God damn, this is hard. Break at the two. Maybe a little bit later than the two next time. I think that was smoother though. Right, where do we break here though? That's the question. At the two. At the two again. Uh, maybe a little bit before that was a bit wobbly. Right, definitely doing that bit okay this time. Two. Uh, that wasn't too bad. Right, that felt all right. Yes, get in there. Wait, hang on. Why is it not stopped? Yeah, that's definitely fastest 0.23 to win 0.49, yeah. I thought they stopped, but maybe not. I suppose I can try and beat it, but I wasn't really paying attention on this lap. Yeah, and that's awful through there. I'm surprised because you don't really need the kudos in this one, so I don't know why it lets you carry on. I find that quite strange. Just after the two. That is definitely how you do that corner. That was a lot better. Just before the two. Ah, oh, the car lifted up. Keeps doing that for some reason. Front end keeps bouncing. That was extremely close to death. Oh. Oh well. We still did it, I think. Hopefully it tells us we've done it, because it definitely says that's faster than to win. Yeah, that's it. Very close, so that is a hard little track, especially in the gun put. But um, we did it. Right, two more to go. Hot lap. Um, that just looks like two straights, really, doesn't it? Maybe some chicanes thrown in there. Supercar concept? Maybe. CCX. Have we used the CCX? I don't think we have, you know. I think we might use that. We keep having orange cars. That looks really weird in purple. Let's go for that. Right, hopefully this should be a good choice because it is just straight after all on this. And of course, another rolling start. Brakes aren't actually that bad. Yeah, this is a lot more stable than the gun put to drive, actually. Just whether I can do this bit without crashing, that's going to be the, the key. Oh, that was a bit wobbly, but actually all right. I'll tell you what, this is really nice to drive, actually. I should have used this in the uh, Gotham career. This is awesome. And it's quick when it gets going. It's an absolute monster in a straight line. Is it going to be quick enough though? Oh, first time. Happy with that. Definitely the car to use. 
I mean, there's quite a few others you could have used, like the McLaren and stuff, but this is still awesome. The handling and the braking are just really good. Complete opposite to what the um, Koenigsegg was like in PGR2. I'm trying to think what that was called now. CC8S, that's it. But this is different to the one in PGR3. Because this is the CCX, I want to say. So the CCAS was in PGR2. The CCR was in PGR3. And this is the CCX. PGR4. I think that was slower, that lap. Only just, though. Only a tenth. It's quite consistent, actually. That was a different kind of corner. Very fun. Very fun track and car combination. Oh, we're actually quicker on this stretch. It's whether I can do this bit any quicker, though. Yes, look at that. Bit too close to the inside of the apex there. Not wide enough. That's all my time lost. I gained. Tenth again, so we're going to be pretty much the same time. Although that was worse as well. Yeah, not very good for that last lap. But we still beat it by a fair distance compared to the last one anyway. Didn't need to change the sixth for the other laps. I just realised because that fifth gear carries on quite far. But it was fairly consistent. The first two were more close. And um, I think we've got one more to do. An eliminator, which shouldn't be too bad. Right. The cow as well. I tell you what, that CCX was really good to drive. Avenida de... I can't read because there's a bit of thing on the screen. Avenida de Amizade. Don't know how to pronounce that whatsoever, but Macau Eliminator. That is the important bit. Uh, we haven't used a GT1, but it's as slow as anything. That is the problem. Um, I might try the panels on this. And the DBR9 is as slow as anything as well. I want a challenge, but I don't want that much of a challenge. Let's go with the GTR1. I think this is going to suck on this track. I don't know why I picked this. I probably should have picked the supercar concept. Because it's going to reach its top speed in like three seconds flat. Although it's better than the SSC off the line. Then the SSC will come back now. Ow. Spin me out. And this is nearly at its top speed. Uh, around the inside. Quickly get ahead of everybody before they fly past on the straights. Oh, we've got a couple of bikes ahead. I could be naughty and take them out. Uh. Oh, that was quite nice actually around the inside there. Actually, this might have been alright, depending on how long that straight is that we saw before. This is the same one we did in the Ultima GTR. Oh no, it's not. No, it is slightly different, because we didn't go up there. Or did we? No, I forget. No, it might be the same, because this bit feels familiar. No, it's definitely different. Definitely different. <clears throat> this sounds amazing. Very raspy. Right, now after this corner is going to be difficult. Hopefully nothing catch me up. I'm actually quite far ahead. Yeah, very far ahead, in fact. Because this is going to struggle against the other kind of cars here. So we're at top speed at 185. If this had top speed of at least 200 or a little bit more, it would be a weapon. 
But this is why I never want to pick it, because of this. And they've caught up a lot through there, I think. Yeah, we're struggling the fifth there a bit. Very short gears, obviously. through there at all. But we've got two more to be eliminated. For the end of the day. That wasn't too bad through there. Again, a really fun car and track combination though. Had a few of those in this episode. It's always nice in arcade when you can just pick the car you want for a certain track. So much more refreshing. This feels like a long eliminator as well for some reason. This is the last car now. And that was awful. I can actually just stop really. Drive the wrong way. There we go though. That's that chapter done. Not too bad. That one in the gun pit was definitely the hardest out of the lot. In that small track. Obviously, the smaller the track, the harsher the target is. But that's uh, all the car medals for chapter 7, flat out. So, only three more to go for the cars before we start the bikes. And uh, in the next episode, we've got chapter 8, Steamroller World Tour, which sounds familiar to something in PGR4. Uh, PGR3, sorry. Sounds like a championship in there. Uh, street races, one-on-ones, eliminators. So that should be fine. And it's in E-Class, which we haven't used much. So I'm actually quite excited for that because... Oh, no, we have used it actually fairly recently. But there's still a few cars in here we haven't used that we could potentially use, like the Testarossa and the Kuntash and all that lot. So that'll be interesting. But that's the end of this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, as always. And I'll see you in the next one.